A massive crack in the ground that's estimated to be up to 50 feet deep has opened up in Kenya seemingly overnight. The crack stretches along Kenya's Great Rift Valley, and many scientists believe it could end up splitting the continent apart. Deborah Pata is tracking developments from Johannesburg, South Africa. Imagine waking up one morning to find a massive crack running through your home. That's what happened to Elliot in Jaguna, forced to dismantle his house by hand before it was lost to the earth below. He lives in Mai Mahu, part of the Great Rift Valley in Kenya, a region that has already provided a treasure trove of some of the most important archaeological finds in history. And this latest discovery is so significant, scientists predict it will be the fault line along which history is made once again as Africa splits into two continents. Although that won't happen for a very long time, says geologist Ben Andrews. Fortunately, this does not occur instantly. So it's going, we're, we're many tens of millions of years away from having two continents. The crack in Kenya sits along the 3,700-mile-long East African Rift. Geologists say that rift is growing larger as two tectonic plates move away from each other. As this movement continues over the next 50 million years, a large chunk of the continent will eventually split off, creating an island that will consist of parts of several African nations. Scientists, for the most part, agree that the continent is splitting in two, but there is debate over exactly how this most recent fracture was revealed. Andrews believes the Earth did not suddenly split in two, but that it formed over hundreds of thousands of years. It looks like it was probably something that already existed and had been filled with ash and other material, and then it was flushed out by recent rainfall. Joining me now from Johannesburg is CBS News foreign correspondent Deborah Pata. She's going to talk to us a little bit about this split. So, Deborah, this giant crack in the earth opened up uh, in what seems like a matter of days. Can you give us an idea of how large it is and what geologists say may have caused it? It's quite phenomenal, really, Vlad. I mean, it's about 50 feet deep and 60 feet wide. I mean, imagine something like that just suddenly appearing. Although geologists in part are saying that actually it was there all along, just hidden away um, from the world, and that because of some heavy downpour in recent weeks in Kenya, it cleared away what essentially was volcanic ash, which is a lot softer than normal rock, and that is how it came to be revealed. Although not everyone one agrees with how this was formed, but that's certainly a lot of geologists are saying that is probably what happened. You know, I know a lot of people are really interested in the science behind this, and some of the pictures are really amazing, but I'm very curious about the people on the ground, because as you know, Deborah, things like this can affect people's lives in a significant way. So how are people reacting, and what does this mean for people living in the surrounding areas? How could their lives be impacted? It's already it has taken place for some people, Vlad. Well, we've seen um, some people who literally woke up to see a giant crack in their home. Can you imagine waking up to something like that? One man said that he started screaming and tried to grab as many belongings as he could and actually physically dismantled his home by hand as quickly as possible before it could be sort of sucked in by this giant um, crack that had appeared there. He now has nowhere to go. So it's one thing to dismantle your home and move, but where do you move to? This is the Rift Valley. Um, this crack lives on a line that is about 3,000 700 miles long and there are faults all along there so this could happen again the road in the area a giant fissure fracture appeared in that road it's now been filled up with rocks so the cars can continue to move over it but this could not be a permanent thing it could happen again so it really has impacted quite severely on people living in the area and it's a long-term problem that the Kenyan government is going to have to deal with they wanted a railway line to go through this area but how can you have a railway line going through what is essentially an area that you know could see this kind of problem again in the very near future it is a story that is to be continued deborah pata perhaps for the next couple of years certainly the next couple of million years we appreciate it as always thank you